Dear friend, it's a joy for me to meet you through this video cast. Today I want to talk to you very briefly about something which is very special to my heart. It's very dear to the heart of God. Romans chapter 5 verse 1 tells us, Therefore being justified by faith, we have peace with God through our Lord Jesus Christ. Peace that's so much important for our lives. A life without peace is very hard to live. How do we have this peace? The scripture says, because we are justified by faith. Now, everyone who is born into this earth has sin inside of them. That's what Psalm 51 was for. The psalmist says, my mother conceived me in sin. Now we have to remember this. Sinner is not made a sinner because he commits sin, but because he has sin in himself, in his blood, he is a sinner. So it's the sin that is inside of a person that makes him commit sin. If we take a little child, you know, nobody has to teach a child uh, certain things. You know, the child just hides some things and says, I don't have it. I don't have it. Though the child has what he or she say, they say that they don't have it. Who taught them to lie? Nobody taught them. It's a sin that is inside of the child. So, because of sin, there is lack of peace. But the Bible says that God is the one who is able to justify us. In other words, He's able to remove that sin and make a person completely, perfectly righteous. You know, it is said that justified means just as if I had never sinned. It's like if you have never sinned, how you feel. It's the same kind of an experience. How does God give us that righteousness? By faith. Faith on what? Faith on the Lord Jesus Christ. Romans chapter 4, in the last few verses, if you read verse 22, and therefore it was imputed to him for righteousness. Now that talks about Abraham. Abraham was a man like any other man, an ordinary man. But God actually made him righteous. The Bible says imputed. Imputed means make inventory. In other words, God took his own righteousness and gave that to Abraham. It was like transferring money from one account to another account. God transferred the righteousness from his account to that of Abraham's account because he believed what God said. Now, verse 23, it says, Now it was not written for his sake alone that it was imputed to him, but for us also. You know, God, what he did for Abraham, he wants to do for us. And he has done it for us. How did he do it? Verse 24 and 25. To whom it shall be imputed. If we believe on him that raised up Jesus our Lord from the dead. Who was delivered for our offenses. And was raised again for our justification. What an awesome thing. Jesus the sinless spotless lamb. He never committed sin. He did not know sin. And he was born 
without sin. So that's what the Bible tells us. So Jesus took our sins, that is yours and mine, upon himself. And he took the punishment of our sin. And he died for us on the cross, shedding his precious, precious holy blood. So when we put our faith on Jesus, God is able to justify or make righteous anyone who puts his faith on Jesus. Jesus not only died for us, but he was raised again on the third day. Jesus' life is a historical truth. The Bible clearly talks about why Jesus died, why he had to rise again for our sins and to justify us. So when you put your faith on Jesus, because he died for your sin, he took the penalty, the punishment for your sin, he will make you. God makes you righteous. God literally takes his own righteousness and transfers it to you so that you are no more a sinner. You are a saint. You are a righteous person. When you have that righteousness, there's peace in your heart. You know for sure God has accepted you. You are the child of God. And God is your father. Now what will be the consequence of such an experience? God is always with you. God is always for you. God is in control over the situations of your life. Nothing goes out of his control in your life. And God will turn around everything that you're going through today, no matter how difficult it is. He will turn it around for his glory. You will have your testimony. He will work it out for good. And that's what Romans chapter 5 verse 2, it tells. By whom we have access by faith into this grace wherein we stand and rejoice in hope of the glory of God. Everything that you're going through, or whatever you may go through, is going to turn around for his glory. Praise his name. I want to bless you with this portion of meditation. So trust in him and he is able to make you righteous and he is your peace. Let me pray with you. Father, I bless this dear friend who has listened to this video cast and I pray that you would bless that person even as they are putting their faith on you, Lord Jesus. Every guilt shall leave and I pray that peace will enter their heart and fill that person right now with the assurance that you are his or her father and they are your children. And let everything that they're going through work out for their good and for your glory. In Jesus' name, amen. God bless you. We love you. See you again.